Welcome back and thank you so much indeed for staying with us as we continue to tell your story. Now, the Azanian People's Organization, Azapo, has taken steps to reinvent the organization. They have appointed young women in key leadership positions. The restructure of uh, top brass in the organization comes ahead of next year's general elections. The party says it's gearing itself to do well and will leave no stone unturned to voters. Having performed badly in the previous election, Azapo is at the verge of being written off. In the coming election, the organization has vowed that it's all or nothing. The party president says, unlike in the past, when they did not have the capacity to win votes, this time around, it's going to be different. We are going to invade um, our communities. We are going to invade the public space and campaign like all the others, for a good result in 2019 elections. Azapo says the political space has now opened. The case in point, the launching of new political parties, the latest being the Good Party, and with its youth involvement in building the party, much can be achieved. Azapo, for the first time in a very long time, is going to be largely represented by young people, and by women. Um, we are going to be a true reflection of the electorate. I mean, statistics show that um, the highest number of people registered for elections are women. So we are going to be representing that electorate uh, uh, very much so this these elections. Meanwhile, the party has expressed its support for the Zondo Commission. They've called on the commission to, among others, recommend litigation against those who are implicated. There must be a process of these people being taken to the courts and if necessary they must go to jail we should not just appear there like it has happened with other commissions and uh, nothing happens to the people who have stolen and the people who have given our money to other people who don't belong to this country azapo will launch its election manifesto in a few weeks time lehana tsutetsi SABC News, Johannesburg.